We're all really passionate about renewable energy, so we have come together to do an Engineers Without Borders project. So Engineers Without Borders gave us a brief and it simply said to scale up the wind belt to charge medium to small electronic devices. So we've taken that idea and ran with it. I'm Dakshini. I'm Jack. And I'm Jess. The Endeavour exhibition uh, gives the final year Masters of Engineering students a chance to showcase their capstone projects to members of the public and industry bodies. So basically what a wind belt is, is it has a membrane and then this membrane will flicker in the wind and due to this fluttering in the wind, um, it'll move a magnet or a coil depending on what your design is and this coil or magnet will move up and down and cause um, electromagnetic induction and from that we can actually produce power. We're trying to take a really human-centred approach to our design, so our target communities are communities in Nepal who live in sort of more mountainous or hilly regions. Um, they have access to quite good natural wind energy, um, so they can hopefully use this device sort of all throughout the day. I mean, Nepal has a lot of other renewable energy sources such as solar, they have a lot of biofuels, but this is really supposed to supplement or complement um, those alternative energy sources. We wanted it to be able to be used by almost anyone in a household. So, you know, we kind of focused on making the device light, mobile, easy to maintain and assemble. Durable. Durable. Um, and, and pretty much sort of a, a bit of a more low-tech kind of device for those communities. We're trying to use a lot of recycled materials. So for the membrane, um, we're using a VHS tape uh, because there are a lot of VHS tapes around and they're quite redundant now and for saving them from going to landfill we're giving them a second life uh, in our project and also for the generation of, of the power uh, rather than using just a coil and a magnet and one going through the other uh, we're using a voice call from a computer hard drive so that enables us to increase our efficiency but also give another component a second life should of those going to landfill as well. At the exhibition, we're looking forward to showcasing our design. I think primarily because we've been so up and close with it throughout the year. Um, we've, we've been quite critical of ourselves and our analysis throughout the year. So it's, it's been almost hard to sort of take a step back and look at it from the broader perspective. At the exhibition, I'm looking forward to, I think we're all looking forward to showcasing that and, and allowing people to, to understand what we've been working on because it is quite a a simple design in that sense. Our ultimate goal is to hand back our prototypes and our research to Engineers Without Borders so that other teams and other researchers can take um, our design forward to do some more iterations um, to really optimise the power generated from the device and hopefully it will become something that is usable by our target communities in Nepal and something that will complement and supplement the energy sources they already have. If you'd like to learn more about our project and those of our classmates, come down to the Endeavour exhibition on Thursday the 24th of October. Looking forward to seeing you there.